Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I hope all is well on your end of things. I hope it's all happy, we're all smiling, we're ready to watch the George, um, we're eating some good food, we're doing our cardio, that kind of stuff. I hope all is well. I just want to say thank you for everyone that commented on my last video in regards to where you're from. Like some people are from America, which is crazy. Like I couldn't imagine inspiring someone in America to watch my videos. Even Hong Kong. I had two people from Hong Kong, Russia, Germany, Spain, France. It's crazy. Even in the UK, up north, Scotland, down south, I don't know. Plymouth, fat nose, thank you so much. Thank you so much. A few shells though, but thank you so much for everyone that commented on my video. I can't believe I, I, I you know, I reach out to people like that. Fucking crazy. I had to, I basically I ran out of protein. Standard me, standard, that, that, that was the uni life for me. Uni got me into the stage of, right, I'll leave everything to the last minute. And that's what I did with my protein. I knew about a week ago I was gonna run out of po protein in a couple of days and I thought, oh fuck, I'll, I'll buy some soon, I'll buy some soon. Came to it and I ran out of protein when I was gonna use it. I was thinking, fuck's sake. So I had to go to Asda and buy some sachets of protein. These are terrible, they're like way box, way box proteins. Not very good, don't mix very well with oats at all. So I wouldn't recommend these myself. I always say, myself look order protein now so you don't run out and guess what i ran out stupid little boy but that's one minute 18 of chalky shit so sit back relax and enjoy i want you to learn something in this vlog i want you to learn something so if you do learn something i don't know let me know <laughs> no, don't do that it's terrible look at that look at that beautiful look at this wait for it it's like a jack fourburn stirring squad isn't it where he does that Look at that, beautiful. To be fair, I'll take it back. It actually does mix quite well. This this sachet anyway. It normally doesn't. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh. Watch that. Boys and girls, flick your throat down. You've done well. Left, right, left, right, left, right. We are in for another chest and tricep session. Yes, it is not legs. I always record legs, I don't know why, because it's more fun. And plus, like lifting weight is like heavyweight is pretty cool. I mean, yes, in like a push session or a chest session, you can lift some heavy weight, but I'm not that strong, you know. I'm not that impressed. Most people are stronger than me who watch me anyway. So we're in for a chest and tricep session. I was gonna say push session then, but we're not. This rotation is slightly different from the one that you saw before. This is the flat barbell bench press rotation, which I very much like. It's a great rotation for me, and I've really focused on building up my barbell bench press, which is actually quite strong for my body weight. Like, I'm 75 kilos and can bench press 100, 100 kilos. I was gonna say 100 something then, but 100 kilos for like eight reps, which is which is pretty good for my body weight. Um, if I was like 100 kilos, I have no doubt that I'd be pushing a lot more, maybe 140 kilos. That would be something really good. But so far, so good. We're in a good position right now to start prep. Strongest I've ever been. Feeling good. Good, although feeling a little bit overtrained recently but I will discuss what I'm doing next week in regards to that a little bit later on but this is the workout and this is what I'm gonna do today flat dumbbell uh, fucking hell George you flat barbell bench press two sets uh, incline dumbbell press two sets um, hammer chest chest hammer I've dropped my pen for fuck's sake I'm trying to find my pen chest uh, chest press variation we can go on some dips as usual some pec flies overhead dumbbell press um, we're gonna go for a press ups again and we're gonna go for a press down uh, pretty straightforward routine it takes me about an hour and a half two hours I like to really warm up because um, I've got a slight niggle in my right pec and my rotator cuffs are not the best shoulders are not the healthiest they've ever been um, what the fuck happened there but we're gonna we're gonna sort it out we're gonna sort out out you know it is George Dahl I'm gonna burp in a minute let me burp on camera Cause it's just bantering it. Oh come on, it ain't, ain't gonna come, is it? Um, keep saying um. <laughs> sake yeah guys like i say in every single video make sure that you are really working hard like i really want to preach if you're tagging me on instagram and you're doing a squat and you're leaving like three reps in reserve i'm not gonna like it i'm gonna comment say you better fucking do more so make sure you're training hard make sure you're fucking pushing yourself i don't want to see no reps in reserve kind of bollocks uh, there's a time and place for that but right now there's not and i need to push it or come on george going into prep soon i'm gonna get small and skinny and little boy i need to sort it out you know what i mean i want to make i want to utilize this food this body weight at the moment, and I want to, because I know deeper in prep, I'm not going to be able to bench 100 kilos. I might be able to, but it's going to be shit probably. So sort your motherfucking bean out, George. <laughs> Bye. 
barbell bench press ups, well, set up, it's pretty much like this. So, shoulder width apart, and then what I'll do is I'll do a hands length apart. So, the width of your hand, I'll go there. So, hand width apart, I went shoulder width apart, and hand width, that's pretty much my setup for bench press. Very straightforward. Uh, when it comes to going through the warm up sets, I'll pretty much just take my time with it. Um, especially with a, uh, a movement like this, I get quite injured, especially with bicep tendonitis, rotator cuff issues. I think it's important to kind of like slowly set up your, your barbell bench press and obviously go when you're ready. Um, I find it's an incredibly hard exercise. It takes a lot, a long time to warm up, so don't be rushing it. Don't be fucking just going for everything and just being, yeah, ready to go. Because what you see some people do is just hop on the bench and they'll do what, like 60 kilos, go to 100 kilos straight away, and they're wondering why they get injured. Zilla, um, Zilla, um, so take your time, please. Um, I'm going to try 105 today and um, haven't done that in god knows how long. The goal is to get five reps. If I can beat that, then I'll fucking will. Um, so far, I'm doing 100 for eight. So I'm going to take my time with this and I'm going to really fucking give it my all. So wish me luck, man, because I'm fucking nervous. You know, we get nervous for a set. It's a bit like that at the moment. But yeah. Um, set up for a barbell bench press if you're watching this, shoulder width apart, then hand width apart. So this, that, bam. That's where I start, that's a starting point and obviously adjust where you need to. Pretty straightforward. So that, that setup was okay. Um, the only issue was I had to readjust myself like halfway through the set, uh, and that's what I wouldn't recommend. I would recommend it, like set. You need to be set up. Like you, if you can't be readjusting yourself midway through your set, if you know what I mean. It needs to be like a constant kind of just set without no readjustment, without no like moving about and shuffling over to left, shuffling over to right. It shouldn't be anything like that. So, the tip in the nearby future for myself is to just ensure that my setup is correct on my warm ups. Um, treat my warm-up sets as a working set because like I said what I was doing within that set is I was kind of just you know mixing my set up halfway through it I was already just jiggling about I could see myself jiggling about and stuff like that you don't want to be doing that you just want the set to be just fluid one whole set without having to change the setup um, but so far I'm quite happy with that I mean um, I thought I was gonna get a little bit more maybe six reps but I'll take four and like three quarters or five whatever you want to call it but so far so good I'm gonna do 100 as a back off and hopefully I aim for about six or seven uh, So I did two sets um, of flat barbell bench press, I did two sets of uh, a low incline dumbbell press and I did three sets on like a decline hammer strength, so that is how many sets is that, three, five, seven sets of pressing and that's seven sets of working sets. Someone asked me, is that working sets or is that total sets including the warm up? That is working sets. So um, I think that's enough for me right now. I've got a little bit of a pec injury um, and my progress seems to be going uh, a little bit downhill at the moment. So what you need to remember is the stronger you get, when, when you get stronger, um, volume needs to come down. That's very important because if you keep pounding, pounding and looking to increase volume, you don't realize, for example, if you're getting stronger uh, or you're, I don't know, increasing, I don't know, two or three reps on, let's say, uh, your dumbbell press, you've already added a crazy amount of stress and volume to yourself. So you need to remember that when volume, when you get stronger, volume needs to come down. So that's an important aspect to remember. Dips, I struggle with dips today because the fucking dumbbell slipped out me, um, slipped out me uh, legs. So I need to really get a dip belt. That would help a lot. Um, you know, there's some pet flies, nothing special. 
and I'm gonna do an overhead dumbbell fucking press thing shit, which is really good for the tricep, I really like that exercise. But so far so good, not the best session in the world, but still a pretty good session. So I'll show you a little uh, pec finisher I like to do, well a pec stretch, which I do at the end of each session. Now pretty much what I do is that everyone can do this, I use a pec fly machine, um, and I'll pretty much just open up the pecs. I had a little bit of resistance to it, so I have a little bit of a uh, that like resistance against me, um, and I'll, I'll pretty much show you. I'll hold it for roughly about 30 seconds. Um, I do it about three times. So I'll show you. Morning, guys. So Sunday. Um, I didn't do much last night, so I didn't bother recording it because, you know, if I'm not doing much, then I'm sure no one wants to see me sitting there, you know, laying down doing fuck all. But spending the night with the missus, not too bad. Didn't do much really, so not really much to stay on that. Yesterday's session was okay. I, I mean, it was hard. I don't know. What's happened to my screen, by the way? The screen looks really weird in my car. Look that little scrub. There we go. What I was going to say, yeah, my session yesterday was a hit and miss. Some errors were good. Some errors were bad. But um, I'm, I'm due a deload. So what I'll be doing from Tuesday till Saturday is taking four complete days off the gym. Now, psychologically, that does my nutting because I'm thinking, oh, I need to train. Oh, I'm going to get small. But it's needed, man, because I'm starting to notice some signs and symptoms. Signs and symptoms of me, like, overtraining and stuff like that. So it's all about being a little bit smart, a little bit right. I need to pull back here. And what I always recommend to people when it comes to deloading is ensure that you pull back before you get uh, a load of sh a shit ton of signs and symptoms. What people do is they'll go all the way. They'll go. They'll give everything. They'll go absolute ball balls deep. And then when performance starts going downhill really bad, they'll think, "Oh fuck it, I'll implement deload." But when you start noticing little signs, little symptoms, but progress is still good, I'd recommend implementing one there because you always want to keep the standards up here. What you don't want to do is drop the standards down here and think, "Fuck, I need a deload now." You want to keep them up here. So when you go back after your deload, the standards are still up here. They're not down here anymore. They're still here. And then you could progress going up. That makes any sense because I'm uh, 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 can't explain for shit. But standard me Sunday, the shops in the UK never open early, which is understandable, I guess, because who wants to work on a Sunday? So I'm off to the gym. No, I'm off to the mm. so oh god, fucking hell. Pre workout beef, mince, rice, asparagus, slightly different to my oats. I've run out of protein, like I said, and it's not being delivered. Absolutely gutted. I also bought. This, I saw this in Asda, and I never tried this before. Raspberry coat. I'm not a big fan of raspberry, but I'll give it a go. Why not? And I'm also watching yeah, Impractical yeah. Jokers. I don't know if anyone's watched this before. But it's quite funny. <laughs> watch it. Go on YouTube and watch it. It's quite funny. Smells like raspberry. No shit, George. <laughs> See, if, you're ra if you like raspberry, this will be nice for you. But for me, I'm not fat, I'm not keen on raspberry, so I don't really like it. It's all right, I can drink it, but it's not my, I won't go, oh, that's amazing, because I just don't like raspberry. If I did, I'd probably say, yeah, that's good. It tastes a little bit like Dr. Pepper, sort of. Has that got a raspberry taste to it? I mean, I'm not a raspberry lover, so I'd say six out of 10. Not bad, not worst thing I've ever had, but it's all right. So the missus, well, gave me a little uh, Chelsea, uh, a little teddy bear. I didn't know where to put it, so I think I've decided to uh, put it like right here, so. Obviously, man does that. Oosh, look at that, Chelsea boy. Ooh, Chelsea rep boy, Chelsea rep boy. Ooh. Hey, right, can I just get a double espresso, please? Pardon? Can I just get a double espresso? Um, double espresso, yes, yeah. please, yeah. yeah. That's it, thank mean? you. Yes, please. Right, thank you. Then, right. I thought he was confused then on what I meant. I thought, did they do double espressos here? I swear I've had one before, but they do. So I'm very much on my own this weekend. Oh dear, I haven't washed my hair today, so the hat is remaining on. Training on my own this week, obviously. Uh, Nathan, I normally train Nathan on the weekends. Unfortunately, we can't, but I'm sure he'll be in some videos very soon. Prep is nearly upon us, so I need to make sure that I'm working my bollocks off within these sessions and ensuring that I can kind of, you know, maximize this calorie surplus which I'm in at the moment because let's be honest when you're in a deficit you're not going to be able to make as much progress as what you want to um, compared to a surplus obviously the goal right now for me is just to keep pushing keep plugging away as much as I can and when the boss gives me orders
orders in regards to right this is what we need to do now um, I'm gonna do it simple as that so looking forward to that aspect of things but I need to be consistent with what I'm doing right now and think right the goal at the mo moment is to build as much muscle as I can within this period very basic workout which we're gonna do today very very no cable kind of fucking pull down sort of thing um, no banded pullover stuff like that very basic kind of old school workout which just involves barbells dumbbells um, and just basic movements so a pull up a barbell row dumbbell rows seated row um, a lap pull down variation um, and some a little bit of biceps to finish um, some dumbbell shrugs and a little bit of calves nothing crazy money every on the track Man, I'm waiting for Brexit. Wet man down and I burn my hoodie. Can't keep that shit on my ex. No How many scams got took to the park and tested? How many? Drugs and violent offenses. Uh. Grip that burner, point and fire. Like low sugar and apprentice. Mm. Tip man, wait before Brexit. Sheep, sheep. Wet man down and I burn my hoodie. Can't keep that shit on my ex. Never. How many scams got took to the park and tested? No. Drugs and violent offenses. Grip that burner, point and fire. Like low sugar and apprentice sure. I've got tracksuits don't wear no more And I keep them just in case no Burn my clothes, fuck the jakes fuck. No face, I'm busting case Free to spin that rusty tray no. Don't wanna see me tugs and hate no way. Pulled up so many times on the ops They knew my number play <laughs> Fuck a monthly wage fuck that. Hit cuts, get paid Bad B coming to the lift for the D And she give me that lovely brain lovely. They don't want war, they're moist Mike. Can't tell me about scoring points Never. So a uh, quick little update <laughs> Mid-session um, What we did was the single arm dumbbell rows. The goal with those is to, I've said this loads of times before, and AJ will love picking me up on this, is not scapegoat a retraction. We want to bring our elbows to the base of our spines. We want to bring it into our hips. No scapular retraction. Things like this, a seated row, is what we need. We want scapular retraction. We want to drive our elbows as far back as possible. Um, but not with a dumbbell row. And that's what so many people do wrong, and I still see it. I still preach it, but people do it wrong. So fucking listen if you're doing it wrong. No scapular retraction, you motherfucker. This, that piece of kit there, is fantastic for scapular retraction. We want to, people use the close, close grip ones, no problem with them. But if you want real proper scapular retraction, then that kind of setup there is probably your best bet. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If I ain't Pochettino, I must be Kane. Must be. Qualified a knife work. Shit. I should've went Harvard should've. Wet man up in my D's And I wet man up in the barbers All night they ain't be back like their fathers Jump out was good oh, uh, Good session Oh dear, the lighting is shocking here uh, Yeah, good session Not the best, not the worst But a deload is due I need a bit of a rest I need a bit of a massage Because I start to feel like niggles are coming along And stuff like that But apart from that, it was alright I got stuck in Milton Keynes um, I was trying to find my way to get to Pepe's But I don't know I don't really know Well, I do know Milton Keynes Because I don't know how I got here But somehow I got myself to uh, Pepe's in uh, Milton Keynes On my own with no sat nav or any maps on Google Maps or whatever as all. I the iPhone map app shit, wherever it, I'm chatting shit, man. We're at Pepe's. My prep starts very, very soon. So you know, I'm gonna enjoy myself, man, because when I'm on prep, I'm not gonna be having any meals off plans. And the missus you watching this, I'm sorry, but I, I gotta stay regiment. I can't be cheating on my diet or anything like that. I'll be very regiment. But right now, as I'm getting close to prep, really, really close, I'm gonna fucking enjoy myself. Fuck it. I don't don't care, don't fucking care. Post workout Pepe's. Chicken and rice with extra chicken and some chips, a bit of garlic man, and a large Pepsi Max because diet man, isn't it? Check that out. Um, Pretty much update on what's going on for the next couple of days is I'll pretty much be deloading from uh, Tuesday so tomorrow for me it's currently Monday till Friday um, so no training at all and then what I will be doing on Saturday is I'll be going up to Birmingham uh, and staying with AJ for the weekend which should be good so hopefully I can get a bit of a massage uh, within these next couple of days if, if someone's available if anyone's got any recommendations in like the kind of North London area kind of Bedfordshire Hertfordshire area then let me know Buckinghamshire anywhere around there let us know and I'll see if I can try and get myself booked in uh, but yeah the goal for the next couple of days is really rest up really trying to recover eat well as well that's important really kind of keep my food high a lot of people think oh no deload I need to you know cut down food and stuff like that which isn't always the case um, pretty much if you watch the holders video comment down below bottle this is a smart
water bottle. Inexpensive this is as well. Um, so I appreciate everyone that watches my videos. Prep is very soon, so I can't wait to document what I will be doing um, in these coming months in order for me to get fucking absolutely peeled off my ass. I want to be, you know, sitting down and my glutes be fucking killing me. Can't wait to be grainy sort of looking, if you know what I mean. That would be really cool. And take it to levels which I've never been before. So if you're looking forward to that, let us know in the comments down below. If there's anything that you want to see, let us know as well. And as usual, I appreciate every motherfucker that watches me. So please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Sort your fucking nut out, because guess what? Your missus, she's probably a cunt. You're not allowed to go to the gym. You're allowed to do this. You're not allowed to do that. Get out of my life and do one. See you in a bit.